I heard the gunshot go off. When I looked over, Tripp was holding his stomach, saying, Al, my stomach hurts. And my phone goes off. Brittany says, Ryan, you got to get up here. Tripp shot himself. I said, what? I was sitting there holding pressure on his stomach, and my husband came up. And when he came up, he took Tripp's shirt and twisted it and put it up against his stomach and had his hands on his back. to keep him from bleeding out. I just kept talking to him, telling him, son, just keep talking to me. As long as you're talking, I know you're there. Just talk to me. He would moan, he would twist, he would flail his arms. We heard uh, tones go out for a gunshot wound. We gathered all the required equipment and put a spare ambulance that was on the lot in service. As the supervisor was en route, he asked our dispatcher to put LifeNet 3, uh, the Orangeburg aircraft, on standby. About six minutes later, he arrived on scene and within 60 seconds requested LifeNet launch. I was the first one on the scene and could immediately tell that he was in dire straits. Got my bag and got a trauma dressing out and uh, immediately bandaged both of the wounds because he did have an entrance and an exit. And I'm thinking to myself, we got to do something to try to save the little kid because I, I felt sure he was going to die on our stretch of that day. When we arrived there, Orangeburg County had the child in, in the ambulance and had already begun working on him. They established an IV line so that he could get fluids. Once we got our IV started and got some fluid going, he, had, he immediately responded. We thought at that point, then maybe we, you know, maybe we are going to be okay. We were able to, to um, load him onto our sled and load him in and knew that we were going to start administering blood as soon as we saw him. He was diaphoretic, which means he's very wet and his skin, it's a sign of shock. He had a very low blood pressure. His heart rate was very high. Unfortunately, we carried blood. His care started when we got there and not waiting for the blood when we got to the hospital. What I knew is that we had a roughly three-year-old boy who had been shot in the abdomen and he was unstable. The surgeon met us outside, and my husband and I asked him what was the news, and he told us, he said, it wasn't good. I said, you've seen him, you've now worked on him. I said, you, I just need you to say, take a few days, but he'll be in the clear. He says, I can't do that. And I fell apart. And I felt my heart sink because I thought I'd lost my, I was gonna lose my son. It was a little more than 24 hours, they said, we're gonna take him back into surgery and see what we can do. They took him back into surgery, and they were able to put everything back together. I want them to see that what they do doesn't go unrecognized. I want them to see his progress and that he is doing well. I've seen my number of bad calls. This was a bad call and it's not very often that we get to see somebody return healthy like nothing ever happened. Come by and say thank you for what you did. It makes a big difference. We don't do it to get that thank you, but to, to get it, it makes a difference to us. It just shows that you know, you're know you doing something right. Somebody who was injured the way he was uh, without air transport uh, wouldn't have survived to get to the hospital because of the ambulance, because of being able to give blood both in the hospital and outside the hospital, now is back to being a normal, happy kid. This is why we do what we do. I've spent the last 25 years doing this, and I can tell you that that's probably one of my proudest moments. And it wasn't because of anything I did, it was to be able to watch how well they work together without speaking. It's wonderful to be able to, to help people and to, to be there when they need us. I don't feel like we did anything extra that day. That's, that's our job and that's what we're here to do. And, and I hope that we have good outcomes like this every time. I'm glad the people that they put in place that day to be there when that call came out was there. I don't feel like I could ever thank them enough because without them, I wouldn't have him. <laughs>